Hello all, in today's video we're going to talk about beta for Lorian Song, my thoughts and things you need to know to get ready for it. Okay, so here we go. You just logged on to beta for the first time or you haven't done it in a long time. First thing, most important thing is maps um, before you even proceed with anything. So, shout out to the map guys. Um, I did beta before they had maps out and it was absolutely horrible. Um, running around quests and everything like that, it felt like the original EQ. It was really different, uh, but anyway. So, goods, and, and I apologize if I mispronounce it, uh, Raku. Um, both put out maps. I'll put in tiny URLs for them, but basically you could download them there and get them. So real quick, how to do this just to show you, because I think this will be helpful for people. For Raccoon, you just basically click it and whatever browser you have, it will download. For goods, um, right click and then should be download. Okay, I have them both there. For Raccoon, I already dragged it out. Goods, I dragged it out now. Now, from your beta, I would not do this in live because there probably will be updates before the expansion releases. But anyway, right click the shortcut, open file location. Uh, you're going to want to sort by file type. Once it's right there, you'll see maps. Double click in. Okay, so this is the important part. Um, you need to make a folder. So let's say, let me do this. You're going to want to make two new folders. This one will first will call Raccoon. And then we'll do goods. Okay, so the reason why you want to do this is while you're in game, you know, like the drop down window, like that, each folder will be that. So you want to uh, separate the maps that you guys get. Don't just copy them into default. Okay, so. You have, let's say, this is raccoons. You just simply click and drag, and then that's it. Okay, so now we have both goods and uh, raccoons maps installed you do not need to camp and come back okay that was like uh, what you used to have to do a long time ago in whatever zone doesn't matter just hit current zone that button there and then it refreshes the folder and then you'll get them so that's that once you have maps your characters on um, doesn't matter what progression, what level, what gear you have, or anything like that. This is beta. You can get all the stuff. Doesn't matter. So first thing is right in POK, neutral zone, Lord Keeper. You're going to hail. You want to max level yourself. Okay, so now I'm 125. Right. Then uh, let's get some A. If you say ask. It's going to give you a boatload of A, and then you'll buy everything. So this is the part where you got to be careful when you're doing beta. Sometimes things are not ready yet, right? That's the purpose of beta. So uh, the A guy, he actually posted. Uh, 
that all the AA's upgrades for classes are com complete. So that's good. So once you get your boatload of AA's, go ahead and start buying them. That's good. Spells, they are not all complete. You can get them just by saying rank 3. There you go. Um, but I would not suggest using them all because, again, um, some of them are not ready yet. And you, if you're not checking the boards all the time or doing feedback, it will be a pain in the butt. So I would, for now, just keep your regular stuff and then worry about it later. Okay, so once your character is sorted, over here, the old man. If you hail him, you're going to see we got like seven new zones and craft hall. So again, right now we're just looking to get our character ready. So we're going to go to the craft hall. And then here you're going to see all the new gear, whether it be raid or group stuff. So depending on your interest, whether you're, you know, group player or raider, you're going to be able to see preview some of the items. So throughout the room, various NPCs broken down by tier and group type. And yeah, you get to see it if there are any. Again, everything is still in a work in progress. Um, looks like they, they got some type 18, 19 augs that possibly might come in. Which makes me excited. That's cool. Um, but anyway, here you guys get the idea. Um, you'll preview all the items and see what you're interested in. Okay, so now let's talk about beta and my opinions and all the good stuff. First thing, is beta worth it? I think so. If you plan to buy the expansion, I don't see any reason not to do beta. Main reason is it's different. It's actually kind of nice to see the community together. This is the one time in the year that you're going to see the most active of active players in the same spot. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's a nice experience to just see people and all the people that love this game and know a lot about it together. That's the number one reason I would say why to do beta, right? So this is the announcement that they uh, gave out last week. Uh, a lot, a bunch of stuff, but here's the thing that caught my eye the most interesting. They actually announced the beta reward early. Um, Guildmate also told me, and I think Bones also posted it on his website, you're going to get a Goblin Illusion, uh, whether you like it or not, but that's what it is. And the beta rewards, to get the beta token, is super easy. And I'm going to explain to you guys how to get it um, um, pretty good in a future video. All right, so what are the things? First thing and foremost is level cap. Um, I like level caps personally. Some people don't, but I do. Uh, all the quests and all the missions, partisan, saviors, all that is going to give EXP bonus. So basically, if you do your overseer daily and you do all the quests, you'll be 125 pretty quick. So there's that. New zones. There are seven new zones, like what we saw from there. Um, they really bumped up the art, this expansion. Like, we got animals, like chickens and stuff that look really good. So definitely props for the um, new models and the art. They're really trying to make the game look better. That, I will give them like a bunch of credit. The effort is definitely seen there. New raids, mission, and quests. Well, that's a given that we get it. Um, to my knowledge, the missions are not out yet. Uh, the raids are being tested, and dev raids will be starting next week or later this week, maybe. Um, so we'll see how that goes. A lot of quests are in already, and that's where I'm going to suggest people to get their beta tokens to get their reward. 
new collections is kind of yeah that's standard nothing really to talk about there new spells combat abilities pretty much it's gonna be a copy and paste from um tol expansion right that's the uh, last level i think yeah so yeah nothing too exciting there the big thing here is you know the community has been um you know speaking very loudly about class balance and not to get into it too much but then on the aa thread you know the the the, the dev did address it and said you know they're gonna try and make time and you know they said this the last few years as well so uh if i was to guess it may be summertime is when they might do it um it's tough it's not an easy project and certainly not defending them this should have been done years ago um trying to do it all in one shot is probably not going to work out well and the longer they wait the harder it will be so we'll see like that's the only thing i could say is we haven't gotten it we've been saying it for several years and nothing has really been approached or addressed for it alternate personas <sighs> deep sigh uh personal opinion if you don't expect much you won't be as disappointed um from reading it again i don't have any personal um experiences with it because it's you can't test it or anything like that just but from reading or just the general concepts of it it's a huge 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 project and um given that it there's really not much out yet to see it doesn't bode well with me um certainly this is not meant to address class balancing by making you play another class um uh, i just wouldn't hold our your breath too much um on ultimate personas being a game breaking uh, super part of this game that's just my opinion um obviously i've been wrong many times in the past and hopefully i will be but just personally speaking, um, I don't really have much high hopes for it. Um, and that's basically it from going over the newsletter, the key point things here. Um, again, I think beta is going to be worth it for folks. If you're planning to buy the expansion, there's no reason not to. Just pop on, get your characters sorted. And then just do some easy quests with some friends and get your reward. Because this is going to be a one-time deal, right? You're not going to be able to get this uh, beta reward unless you do beta. All right. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, I'll make a video about the quests and such um, so that you guys could get your beta rewards. But, again, this is my just early opinions and things you need to know uh, to start beta rating. Oh, not beta, that beta testing. All right. Thanks all. Bye-bye.